This is Chris Newman. Today's video is assigning permissions to SharePoint folders. Setting permissions to folders allows you to limit the access people have to folders and what they can and can't do inside those folders. As you can see in the top right hand corner, I'm logged in. I'm going to go into the IT section of SharePoint. I'm going to choose the private section. You can do this in either one, private or public. In the browse mode, you can see all the list of folders and documents in this section. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to click dot 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 all documents. And up here in the file section, there's an option for new folder. In this exercise, we're going to create a folder for a specific person to store documents in. So I'm just going to name this Jacob Q Test and hit save. When the screen refreshes, you'll see the new folder listed here. To see who has access, click the dot 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 next to it and then click dot 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 inside that window and then choose shared with and it'll display who has access to this folder. The reason why there are already names here is because new folders inherit the permissions of the section that they're in. You can list all the people that have permissions. Choose the stop inheriting permissions option at the top left hand corner. A window will pop up warning you that you're about to remove the inherited permissions. Hit OK. With the granted permissions removed, you can now set custom permissions for this folder. All access and Anderson Internet owners need to be left alone. And you can set, pick and choose which people you want to grant or remove permissions based on your department needs. With any unwanted members accounts removed, I want to check and edit the one for Jacob Q test. If I click it and edit user permissions, it'll view what his account has rights to do. Your screen will probably display fewer options than this. The main ones you want to be dealing with are full control, contribute, view, and read only. Those are the ones you're going to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. When you're done selecting your permissions, just click OK at the bottom right-hand corner. When the screen refreshes, you'll notice that the permission levels changes and updates for the changes you just made. Once you're satisfied with the settings, you can just click on the section and go back out. And you'll notice our folder here. What if you wanted to add a new person to share this? If I click on the dot dot dot, there's the option below here for share. This allows you to add individual people. Simply click on the field and start typing a name of someone you want to share this with. It'll populate the field based on who's listed in SharePoint. You can scroll down to see a long list of names. To the right, you can see a field where you can choose whether the person can edit or view. Choose which one you want and set it, and then click Share. Now you've added that person to that folder.